And in this regard, we also call forth the pre-appointed time for Papua New Guinea. What is it in your heavenly diary that Papua New Guinea has been destined for? Release that from heaven today so that Papua New Guinea will rise to the occasion and keep your destiny and calling. The pre-appointed times for Papua New Guinea will now pour it forth before you go our God. And uh, this is our agreement before you, Captain Commander. And if you agree with this, what I have said, then let's all say it together in unity. Amen. How I know some play years ago back now. Time we play go along sightseeing. We went to some tall mountain and under those mountains there was a there's a river. And that site is a historical site, Mount Maui. And they said uh, there used to be two kings, maybe two chiefs. And they decided that there should be only one king to rule the islands of Maui, uh, Hawaii. And so they decided to fight. Whoever wins will be the king of those islands. And then that's where people also scattered. Very recently, because in Bougainville we have some people who do not look like Bougainvilleans. They are, uh, I think we have one or two here among us. Very recently one of them told me a story that they sailed after the fight. They still hold on to this story. They sailed from the Hawaiians. They came to New Zealand, but people, they said, oh, we are already full. You go to other islands. And they came and ended up near Bougainville, so they are Bougainvilleans now. But the story still states that they came all the way from Hawaii. They are descendants from Hawaii. Because of that fight in that valley, uh, they ended up in Papua New Guinea. They are Papua New Guinea and they are Bogan millions, but they don't look like Bogan millions. But we are proud to have them as our Polynesian Bogan million or Macronesian Bogan million. Hallelujah. So we are ready. From the source of Papua New Guinea, the land of increase, the land of agreement, we now launch this move of glory.
we are people of the canoe who will continue to pass on the canoe. We are also giving them the canoe with the writing engraved here. It says, launching the move of the glory of God from the ends of the earth back to Jerusalem. As you know, Hawaii is the gateway to the Americas. Hawaii is not is the youngest and is the smallest state of America. They are also the 50th state of America, 5-0. The last state of America. Uh, yeah, they, they are also the only state of America outside the mainland of America. Alaska is, is up there next to Canada, but it's part of the landmass. This state is the only one, little islands floating in the middle of the Pacific. Remember in the Second World War, uh, when the war was going on, America refused to join the war until the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And after the Japanese bombed Hawaii, and then America came full force and joined the war. And what the Lord is saying is this. When the Lord, this was the glory, now it's passing to Hawaii, the glory of the Lord will bomb Hawaii. And America has no choice. So we really believe, we really believe that uh, as we pass on prophetically, by faith, and in reality, we believe God's about to do something in Hawaii that will catch the eye and the attention of the whole of America. So praise the Lord for that. And uh, maybe one more thing is that that's 2008 next year, but the following year, 2009, is a very special year again for Hawaii because they will celebrate their first jubilee because they became the 50th state uh, in 1959. So 2009, they will celebrate their 50th uh, or jubilee. So the number 50th state will celebrate their 50th or first jubilee in 2009. And we believe that will be the year where the glory will hit the mainland. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. We'll just continue to look to the Lord and He will guide us and tell us what to do. But I think that's enough to give you some idea that God knows all these things from the beginning before we were born. So it might be a surprise to you, but to us, but it's no surprise at all to Him. So let His will be done. Praise the Lord. Give a hand up to